Tess Annabeth, 3,100 and 88 days ago, my life changed forever. I may not have known it then, but that was the start to my happily ever after. When I asked you to be my girlfriend in the halls of Hudson Middle School, I couldn't fathom the journey we would be embarking on. But now I, am, I know that I made the best decision of my life. You embody love, kindness, patience, and compassion that I have never seen in anybody else. I can't wait to marry you and see you walk down the aisle for the first time and create more lifelong memories together. Blake Robert, eight and a half years ago, a 14-year-old boy asked me to be his girlfriend in the halls of Hudson Middle School. Who would have thought that we'd be working on our vows today? We survived the awkward stages of high school and the moments of finding ourselves in college. It wasn't always easy, but I thank God for every moment we shared together. You always have a way of making me smile and laugh, even in the toughest of moments, and that is one of the many things that I love about you. I promise to do these things for you. My promise to you is to be the best husband that I can be. I promise to always say yes to a Whataburger date and DQ runs. I will be a shoulder for you to lean on. I promise to cheer on the Dolphins as long as they aren't playing the Cowboys. My daddy raised me right. I'll be your biggest supporter. I will always lend a listening ear when you are in need and trust and respect you with my full heart. I will be there for you to help make tough decisions. I will per permanently stand by you. I will protect you and I will love you unconditionally. Today isn't just any other day. Today is the chapter in our happily ever after, and I can't wait. Love, Blake. I vow to celebrate your successes and lend my shoulder in times of sorrow. I promise to always put this marriage before anything else in life and to love you unconditionally each and every day. You are my best friend, my life, my love, and so much more. Today I vow these things to you, forever and always, soon to be Testy Valerio. God's love for you is boundless. He commands you in response to his love to love each other. Love is forgiving and enduring. Love shows itself in truth and faithfulness, thoughtfulness, understanding, patience, and kindness. Marriage furnishes a unique opportunity to put this love into practice. First, would you please take this ring right there? And then repeat after me. Tess, receive this ring. Tess, receive this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. <laughs> That's <laughs> good that it's tight. You don't want that to end. <laughs> Repeat after me. Blake, receive this ring. Blake, receive this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. <laughs> By their promises, Blake and Tess have bound themselves together in marriage before God and before all these witnesses. Therefore, I declare that they are husband and wife in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. You may kiss your bride. Turn 
this way. And I have the joy and privilege of introducing all of you to Mr. and Mrs. Blake DiValerio. Water towers are made for hearts and names. Friday nights are made for football games. Falling leaves are made for falling in. Front porch steps are made for good night kissing. And I was made for you. Yeah, I was made for you. Summer jobs are made for spending cash. Second dates are made for going fast. And early curfews are made for sneaking past. 2 a.m. was made for pissed off dads And I was made for you Yeah, I was made for you Fuck! 